All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahab, Wadash, double honor, seven elders and apostles of the great millstone who grew well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 of the hopeful elect. Shalom, Barak, and uh, the title of this lesson is going to be America is Falling Apart. Uh, this place is falling apart. And you have to be basically sleeping under a rock. You know to not see that i even see these various people on youtube content creators that are you know even edomites not in the truth or nothing you know they're using terms like bring the asteroid and just nuke this place like the people are talking like that now because it was cool about 15 years ago even 10 years ago yeah you know, oh everybody's doing what they want is just you know to each its own love is love but, but now it's getting to the, the level of uh, ridiculousness, man. Complete ridiculousness. And like the uh, guy Alex Jones said it a while ago, it's like the frog, <laughs> or maybe it wasn't Alex Jones. I'm thinking about the the, 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 the gay frogs or whatever. Uh, but you know, there's that old saying, you know, the, the frog boiling in the water, okay? You know, if you turn the temperature up slowly, the frog doesn't realize it's being boiled alive. And that's what's happening to America. Y'all are frogs in the water, man. So it was cool a little while ago, but now this, it, it's, 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 uh, it's mutated. Okay. It's mutated into a shit show, you know? And I may do a lesson on, on, on that, <laughs> about how this place it's basically a mutant, a mutant form of a uh, 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 of society of reality, man. All right. Now I'm reading a few of these articles. Uh, one of the oldest posted, you know, it says on one of these, it says Babylon is going out bad. I ain't talking about the MJ song. It says join the military as a senior and earn up to seventy five thousand dollar bonus. Now, why do they have to say that, man? <laughs> I'm gonna get Isaiah 47. You know I love this 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 chapter, you know, um, because that's where we are. All right, it says, "Come down, Isaiah 47 and one. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. All right, and there is no throne here. There is no American dream. There is no winning." Even if you're a so-called millionaire, even Kanye thought he was a billionaire at one point, but then he found out he wasn't. He answers to somebody, man. There's a hierarchy that, that you can't elect or vote for, okay, that control everything. And if you think you're just going to get up there and do whatever the hell you want in this guy's society, you're wrong, man. Righteousness is hated in this place, man, okay? Where we're commanded to love the good and hate evil, we're not allowed to hate evil, man. If you call hate towards something, any particular groups, okay, that will destroy the society. If you let certain agendas go on, it will destroy your society, man. Read Genesis, the 19th chapter, but you can't be against it, man. All right. So this place, there is no, there is no win here, man. All you can do is lease happiness. You can't ever actually obtain happiness. You can't have a legacy. You can't really have anything here, man. You can't even own land in America. It says, For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover the, the locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. All right. The nakedness uh, shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Okay. And that's the time that we're living in, man. All right, and the whole earth is like it said, the nakedness shall be uncovered. Everybody's seeing this now. They like, oh, that's what this whole thing was about. Now you're figuring out the reason they want people to change what they were born with. Okay, it, it is because they don't want to be there a difference between any uh, 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 race or gender or anything, man. They don't want there to be a difference. They want they see you all as how did Noah Hall Yorari said. Hackable animals, man. That's what that guy said. That's on the the the, the WEF. Okay, he's he's making global policies that's gonna uh, touch you, man. You didn't vote for him, okay? <laughs> you see, it says, "As for our Redeemer, the Lord Jehovah of Hosts is His name. 
the Holy One of Israel. All right. So, so let me read this other, other one here. Look, California to provide free changes to what you were born with for illegal immigrants, man. They, they really are just shitting on everybody, man. They really do not give a fuck about you, man, at all. <laughs> and now everybody's crying because they giving 53, they gave 50 million dollars to these migrants as well. When people are working three jobs and still living paycheck to paycheck, still can't make rent. You know? And what did they do? They convinced all you women that being a single mother was a virtuous thing. They convinced all these women that, that sleeping around and having babies, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Now you're crying. Because you got three kids and all of the prices are going up. Okay? And it's affecting everybody. So you can't even get your, your, your baby daddies <laughs> to, to help, man. So now you crying, man. You see? It, it would be a lot more palatable if you didn't have kids or you were with a man that you were married to in a household, all right? Where you can have a hedge against these economic downturns. But no, they convinced everybody to go out there, do it on your own, have hookup culture, everybody just fucking everybody. You know, you know, half of the population's got herpes, literally. You know? You see? Now, now y'all mad, man. <laughs> All right? It says, verse 5, Isaiah 47 and 5, Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. All right, because everybody sees America for what it is. It's a come up. Nobody actually cares about you, American. They see they see a way to make money off of you. The top three companies in Europe get all their money from America, man. China is getting filthy rich, making bullshit, man. China is literally making plastic toys, making billions a year out of these factories. All right, they're making smartphones and various other things too, but they're selling out a lot of bullshit. Seventy percent of Walmart comes from China, man. Okay? You don't think that chicken's gonna come home to roost? They're making money hand over fist off of you people, off of you Americans, man. Alright? And don't start trying to grow your own food. He's gonna pass laws immediately saying you need a license or a permit. No, you gotta buy this bullshit. You see? Verse 6, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. And that's what the elect, this is the message to the elect Akim, the hopeful elect Akim, man. The Lord was angry with us. We got to suffer, the, suffer these things, but the Lord has not forgotten us, man. Okay? He said he's polluted his inheritance. All right? But, but he's also known as the Redeemer of Israel, as we just read. Okay? It says, Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke because you're getting fucked up if you're an, uh, uh, an elder man all right there was a video i watched recently where the, the, there's people down there in florida these old people man their their insurance for their home alone went up to thirteen thousand dollars man that's over a thousand dollars a month just for insurance they just spiked it on them man all right they're on fixed income they can't work not like they once once could, you know. If they could, they can work a part-time job, maybe. All right? They don't know what AI is. They can't work a computer job. None of this shit, man. You know? So this guy is absolutely spoiled everybody, man. This place is, is, and it's all building up. It's not like it's dissipating. All right? It's not like there's some end in sight on this side and that side. You know, it only looks like it because he'll come out and say, oh, the job numbers are up. The employment is at an all-time low and blah, 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 blah. But, but, but it's really not, though. Like, it's really not going down. People can feel it, man. Just go out and talk to people, man. You know? Ask them how things are going economically. You know, they, they'll tell you. Okay? Verse 7, thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did it remember the latter end of it. And that's a lot of people here, man. It was all good when they was when they was bombing those foreigners over there. 
Oh, that's sad. The Syrian ref. Well, now y'all are getting ready to be refugees, man. Y'all didn't curse out the, the the politicians and the people passing these policies to go over there and fuck up a bunch of foreign nations. Y'all like, oh, we got nukes. We got the best military in the world. So y'all didn't consider how this whole thing was going to end. But now the Lord has filled this place up with these military age fighting men now, man. They crossed the border. There's more than likely millions of them here, man. All right. Let me go back to some of these other ones. They got a picture of a... Uh, <laughs> Y'all can kind of read. She said, this is that post A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N. Post A-B glow. So she's basically bragging that she's got a glow after she just made a sacrifice to Molech, man. All right, and what and why do you think she's doing that? Cause she's running around, just, you know, you know, you know what's going on with these women nowadays. We don't have to keep saying it. It's so normalized and, and ubiquitous. All right, whole culture is just pervasive throughout all women, man. You got grown women in their forties and fifties leaving their husband to go be a hoe. They weren't even grown up in this generation, <laughs> and they leaving their husbands to go be a hoe, man. The, the, the fear of missing out, man. Because some nigga online is, is on a dating app talking to her, telling her sweet, but he's not going to marry you. <laughs> now you're 50 years old. You done left your husband. Ridic ridiculous, man. The Lord, that, now you see why the Lord just got to come back and, and, and deal with these people, man. <laughs> All right. It says another one it says the health officials have now confirmed that the discovery of America's first human bubonic okay also known as the black death okay so that's back and that took out two-thirds of Europe back in the day man two-thirds of Europe got fucked up all right <laughs> you see and Esau they was hurt man all right, that's part of the reason they call it the Renaissance as well, too, because Jake was ruling a lot around that time. That was around the transitory period between Jake going down in the 1400s to Esau coming up in the 1400s, all right, where that hit. And, and Esau basically reclaimed all these thrones, of the modern day, you know, Dutch and Denmark and and and, and Italy and, and all of these various places in France and, and, and England, okay? Esau got back in. But that, that's coming back, man. There, there, there's pestilences out here, man. You don't want no smoke with, man. I'm telling you. Okay? Social media influencer and her son has passed away from carbon monoxide poison. They were in the garage sitting in the car while it was running. And people still don't know this, man. You're not supposed to sit in a closed container with your car running, man. All right? There's a couple that got that died because the woman was cheating on her husband with another man in the car in the garage, and they both uh, 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 basically uh, got put into the spirit world, man. In the act, they both passed out, and 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 and, and boom, the Most High got their ass in the middle of the act, man. That was that was judgment right there. <laughs> All right. Let me going back to Isaiah 47, verse 8. Therefore now hear this, thou that are given to pleasures that dwell as carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. And that's how that's how the majority of people are, man. They don't they just charge credit card debt like it's nothing, man. Like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll pay it back. You go out and get a student loan for eighty thousand, a hundred thousand. Some of these tuitions is two hundred thousand dollars, man. All right, you have no plans on getting into a career and paying it back. Forty percent of people, all right, that got a degree are not even in the field that they got the degree in. I mean, they just got the degree and just went out and did something completely different, man. All right. But they'll rack up that debt because they because Esau has convinced you that that piece of paper makes you better than the person next to you, man. 
You know, women in this society, they'll look down at a, at a plumber or an electrician, but that nigga's making bank, man. All right? But, but people are programmed. All right? There's a spell of witchcraft over this place, man. This is why the scriptures say, and I'm going to get to it. Stand not with thine enchantments, man. All right? But verse 9, it says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment and one day, the loss of children and widowhood. All right, and this is the day of wrath, the day of wrath, the day of vengeance, the day of darkness. Okay, the day of the Lord. Okay, the Lord, the Most High, named the day after Himself, man. <laughs> All right, that's coming soon to you people, man. All right, it said, but <laughs> and it's gonna come swift. And why is it gonna come swift? Yeah, because it's gonna happen rapidly, but it's also gonna be because you're not paying attention, man. You're careless. All right. No, and, and not only are you careless, but you're surrounded by people that will tell you everything you want to hear. Women are so sensitive to criticism because literally nobody will be honest with them, man. The niggas that want to smash is lying to them. Esau is lying to you in magazines and television shows and TV and movie. All right, the women surrounded you have no integrity. They they'll tell you, yeah, you look good in that dress. Everybody's lying to the women. Okay, so what's gonna happen when reality sets in? That's why it says in Isaiah four and one, well, we'll eat our own bread and make our own. They're gonna be in a humble ass spirit in that day because it's gonna hit their ass all at once, man. All right, it says they shall come up. On thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. What does that mean in their perfection, man? Let me get that word in the Hebrew real quick. <laughs> okay. The one. Integrity and completeness. All right. Fullness. Innocence. Simplicity. All right. So it's going it's going to be a perfect judgment basically. All right? It's going to be a complete judgment. The things that you were doing in the world, the most high is going to see fit that that fits your punishment, man. The most high is perfectly fair, he's just and he's righteous. It don't matter how fucked up you think the judgment is, the most high knows you, man. Okay? He knows what you did. He knows what you're thinking about and he knows the shit you're going to do in the future if you were to continue. Okay? The most high can see what would happen. Okay? And he can judge you based off of that, man. He's not restricted to time. All right? It says, for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments, man. And that's what you have here, man. A lot of enchantments and sorcery and, and, and just witchcraft, man. Everything is fucking bullshit here, man. All right? It's, it's like, bro, you go on a, on, a, on a dating app, none of them women look like that, man. None of them. But you look in, you look in the bio, it's just a whole list of shit that you got to have. If you don't look like your pictures are better, it's a problem. But you, but you, you show up <laughs> and meet her, she's hiding a whole fucking pumpkin under her dress man you know so so there's a there's a I just using that as an example there's a falsehood here man all right and when all of these things culminate and they come to to a head it's gonna be really 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 bad man and the scriptures say the 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 house of Israel is gonna be first man y'all are gonna feel it first Especially you niggas that know that you're Israelites, man. Okay? If you're not right, the Lord is going to deal with you, man. There is no escape. Not even in death can you escape the Most High, man. All right? He's the Father of Spirits. Verse 11, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. All you preppers... All you niggas that think you got a man that's going to protect you. 
All right, we're going to see. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. All right. That's coming, man. That's coming in a major way, man. Because how many, how much news can you see? You're like, Lord, how bad, how much more worse can this get, man? All right. But we're at the point now where Esau, he's going to have to do something drastic, man. It's going to get much worse. Concentration camps are coming. Okay. The Karagma is on its way. All of the wars and, and all of the plagues and things of that that come along with it. It's on the way, man. The Lord is just showing us why all of this thing, why, why all these things are justified, man. All right. You got thousands of kids going missing every day, man. You know. Nobody's doing all of this technology. Esau can see you from a satellite in the sky, but they can't find these damn kids. All this technology he's got, but these these guys online talking to your kids that you don't know who they are, the hidden accounts, they can't find them though. Okay. Anyway, man, I made the point. I'll end it here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll read the main point. It's Lucky verse 12. It says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy, with thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, America. If so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou mayest be able to prevail. In other words, the Lord saying, keep that same energy when I show up, man, when these plagues start hitting. All right? Keep that same energy, man. You know? So I'll end it there, man. Low willingness is edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahab Dash and Shalom. Wam Yasharallah.